In the case of a conscious choking victim, I always remember to first get consent and call 911 assistance if needed. If the victim is able to cough, stay with them and encourage them to keep coughing before doing the following steps. First, approach the victim from the side so that your chest is to their shoulder. Reach across their chest to the other shoulder and lean them forward slightly. Right between their shoulder blades, give them five back blows with the palm of your hand. One, two, three, four, five. Next, come behind the victim and locate their navel. Make a fist right above it and grab it with the other hand to do five upward thrusts. One, two, three, four, five. We continue this cycle of five back blows and five abdominal thrusts until the object is dislodged or the victim becomes unconscious. In the case of a conscious choking infant, we must better secure the head and the neck. To do this, right below their lower lip, place your one hand and your forearm straight down their chest. Then place them down at a 45 degree angle on your knee. Right between the shoulder blades, we're gonna give them five back blows with the palm of our hand, making sure not to make contact with the back of their head. One, two, three, four, five. Once we've given them the back blows, clamp them in and rotate them over to the other leg at which time we're gonna give them five chest thrusts in the same position as CPR. One, two, three, four, five. We continue this cycle of five back blows and five chest thrusts until the object becomes dislodged or the victim becomes unconscious.